Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this sponsored video, I'm going to go over how to make a logo for beginners with TaylorBrands.com. So let's dive into how to make a logo now. So to get started, we can navigate over to WPWithTom.com slash TB, and there should be a link in the description or at least in the top comment that I have pinned if you want to follow along here. So TaylorBrands.com allows us to create a logo that you can easily use on your business cards, books, presentations, social media, and so much more. If you want to learn more about it, just go to the About or the Product section here to learn more about it. But I'm actually going to just dive in and get started to show you how to make a logo in just a matter of minutes. So if we want to, we can just enter a logo name. I'm just going to enter a fake name for a business here. I'm going to call it TJ Landscaping. And then we can add a tagline if we want. So I'm just going to add one here and I'll just put lawns you'll love. And we can go and then click design. And then it's going to bring us to this next page. It's going to ask us about our industry. So I'm just going to put landscaping. I'll start to type that in and it pops up. It says by telling us more about what you do, we can create better designs for you. So they use AI technology here to do this. And it's pretty cool that they have this feature built in. I'm just going to basically put something like we are a landscaping company that provides lawn care services. And I'll hit next. Now here you have different options. So you can choose your logo type. I prefer an icon based logo, but if you wanted to just have the name or initial base, so maybe I'd put TJL for TJ Landscaping, or you can put the name itself. I'm going to go with an icon to give that full effect on the logo. I'm going to click this. Now here we have another option. You can choose abstract shape or you can search for an icon. I think an abstract shape might look a little weird for a landscaping type company. So I'm going to go with search for icon in this case, but you can do whichever you would like. And it's going to automatically give me some options here for landscaping options. If you don't like any of these here, you can click load more and see other options, or you can do a different search at the top. So let's just say I like this one right here. I'm going to click on that, go to next, and then it's going to give me different options for the style of font that suits us best. So you can choose which ones you like. I want something that looks pretty clean and easy to read. I'm just going to go with the ones that probably are a little more on the bold side and a little more of just a generic font. Something that's again easy to read. And after you've actually filled out all those fonts, those 10 different ones, it's going to start loading your logo here and you're going to be able to change things and edit your logo as needed based on what the AI provides here. So right here we have this logo and this honestly isn't exactly what I want it. So we're going to be able to customize this as needed. We can just click on customize or if you do love it, you can just click love it and go on to purchase it. On the left side here, we see different options that we can have it look like. I actually like this one right here more than the one that was generated for me, but I am going to want to change this subtext right here, the subheading. So I'm going to go and click customize and I'm going to probably change the color as well. So we'll go through how to do that. So right here, we have different variations of the logo that it gives us by default. If you like those more, you can maybe go with one of those. But I'm going to go right over to where it says color to get started. And since our logo is green here, or it should probably be green for a landscaping company, maybe we can click this one and see how that looks. I actually do like how that looks right there with this green. But you can mess around and try different things, see what looks best to you. There's different options within this color area that you can definitely use to find something that you're going to like in the palettes here. So if we go to layout, let's say you don't like this layout and you want to look at different layout options, you can see right here it gives us different options. So maybe you want it to be to the front and have it like this. I think that looks pretty good. I like it a little more on top maybe, but I'm going to just go through these and you show you a few different options. And maybe I'll just go with this one. I actually do like how that looks. So from here, I'm going to navigate over and click on where it says saved in my case. And then I'm going to go back up one more time and edit this. I'm going to go back into where it says type. 
and from here I'm going to edit where it says tagline right here. So once this loads, we can edit the tagline, and you can see it gives you different options. I just want something that's going to be easier to read. So I'm going to go with this, lawns you'll love, easy, nice print there that you can easily read. If you wanted to, you can make it a little more bold like that. Either one looks good to me. I'm going to just go and click save right here at the top. Here you can undo things, you can download. So I'm going to just go to where it says finish. And from here, we're going to be brought to the pricing page. You can sign up for a one month, one year, or two year plan here for your logo. Again, if you wanted to, you can use these on such things as social media accounts, book covers, business cards. There's so many different things that you can use this logo for, and Taylor Brands makes that very easy to do. I should also mention that once you purchase the logo, you'll be able to access the logo within your account and make further changes or edits if needed. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out to the support team at Taylor Brands and they should be able to help you. I hope that you found this video helpful in learning how to create a logo by using the Taylor Brands Builder here. Thanks for viewing and have a great day.